皆さん、お久しぶりです。お元気ですか ?Hi, I'm Grace Asakura. And today, we'll talk about Japanese numbers again, as I promised.、Uh, in our previous class, we went over how to count 0 to 100 million. Didn't we? Yeah, something like that. That's a big number. But today, we'll talk about something smaller, which is between 0 and 1. In our last lesson, we learned in Japanese language, we Off, uh, put the comma every four digits in opposed to every three in like American system, in English system. When it comes to the period, you know, we call it shosuten, like after the, the, the first digit. It will be. I'm on the right side, right? Okay, okay, yeah, so, so after the dot following this way, we'll have smaller numbers, right? After shosuten. That's zero, one, whatever, whatever. It just goes on and on and on indefinitely. So after Shosuten, it's very simple. You just read the number.、Uh, for example, what's the, what's the good example? Oh, how about this? The Enshu Ritsu. That's the, we call, use the symbol pi, right? Do you call it pi in English? I don't know. But when you do the math of, uh, Measuring the circle, you just、uh, multiple with san ten ichi yon. So above shosu ten,、uh, one four is like ju yon, right? For example. But after shosu ten, you just keep reading the number. So san ten ichi yon, right? And、uh, what if, if it's something like a hundred point, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five? So that's gonna be 110, 123456, for example. I don't know why I came with that. <laughs> And、uh, yeah, you get the rule, right? So basically, after dot, dot shosu ten, oh, we call it ten. Ten means a dot or any sort of like little mark, we call it ten. So the big number, ten, whatever number follows. So, So, those are the basic. But sometimes we do, you know, the bunsu. Have you ever seen those? Like you have the line and they say half. That's two right here, right? And one. So, how we understand, how we learn in school is that if you split something in two, split in two, and there's one of those right here. So, we call it bunsu. Bun means to divide, wakeru, right? So let's say if it's、uh, one third, will be, can you see? That's the three right here. Then the one、uh, above that.、Uh, I just mentioned one third. Let's use it as an example. So one of the three di、uh, divided p o r t i o n Japanese, we flip it around. We call it sanbun no ichi. So sanbun no means. Divided in three, and how many of those? One, ichi. So, sanbun no ichi, right? So, how do you say one fourth, which is quarter? Yeah, as you can guess, it's gonna be yonbun no ichi. So, for half, we have the word han. So, hanbun means like half of something. So, for example, I often use it,、uh, let's say, like reading. Uh, time, yeah.、Uh, so, what time is it? 1 30. I might say, uh, 1時半 yeah, instead of 1 時30分 So, han means half of something. Another example, oh, let's say, you know, oh, oh, like how many apples do you want? Say,、uh, maybe two and a half. <laughs> Who split apple? Sorry, I couldn't come up with a better example. So, can I have two and a half apples, right? So, I would say, Niko han. Kudasai, for example. Or I don't know if I can say 2.5. Nitengo ko kudasai. Science class, I, may, I might say that, but usually like 2.5, like niko han kudasai. Yeah, we use that. However, we don't have any word for quarter, quarter one fourth. So we usually use yonbun no ichi. Yeah, 
for that. Um, so this goes on and on. Gobun no ichi, rokubun no ichi. Of course, you want to say two fifth, for example. Uh, we will say, yeah, you guessed right. Gobun no ni. Yeah, so you read the number at the bottom first, and then you say the number at the top. So it's the order is the opposite from English. Do you know your hat sizes? I didn't know until I started doing acting here. There were like specific hat size. I have a really big head, <laughs> to be honest. I have like a little square bumps right here. So I think my hat size is, uh, what was it? Uh, seven and three quarters. Yeah, I think so. It's very close to my shoe size, which is seven and a half. Uh, yeah, so if if it's seven and a half, I might say nana ten go, or I might say nana hang. Yeah, uh, seven and a half or nana ten seven point five. Uh, if it's seven and three quarters, uh, three fourth, uh, uh, my hat size is nana to. Yonbun no san. Yeah, I think that's the right way to say it. Nana to yonbun no san. Yeah? So, when you see the, the bunsu, it goes this way, uh, bottom and the top. And uh, if it's the shosu, then you just keep reading the number. Easy, right? So, uh, we learned a little bit of extra uh, numbers today how to count those small numbers with one, uh, zero and one. There's so many things to cover about the numbers. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you in my next class. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.